how to create all kinds of spiral designs such as this in Affinity Photo 2.2. Go to the ellipse tool, create an ellipse or circular design. Hold down the shift to create circular. Then go to the move tool. And with the move tool, you'll notice I've got a crosshair just there in the center. Just go along the control bar, make certain this is turned on. And then you can just reposition it and any transform will be rotated around that crosshair. So this, press return, just as long as it's selected with the move tool. So move tool and this selected press return. Then you can enter value here, rotation. So you can go 12 or maybe 20, but you'll notice just below there's a duplication. So I can just click there and that will create a copy of it. And also what you can do, number of copies. So you can increase that. And you can see you can make a nice circular design very quickly. But what you can also do is you can go and enter, say, horizontal. So go for, say, 12. And you can see as you change it, maybe go for 30. Or maybe go for 3. You can see a variety of different designs can be created. Or maybe go to the vertical one and go for 6. Or 20. You can also enter minus 20. And you can see you can build up all kinds of designs like that. And you can then increase the number of copies. And as you do that, you see what happens. It generates these sort of spirals going upwards in this case. But of course, you can vary direction depending on all the settings here. And you can put it to 50, 200. What it's doing is creating multiple layers. And you can see the layers later once you actually click OK. You don't see them at the moment. It's not, it's not updated. And also what you do, you can change that value. So use the up and down keys. And you can vary the rotation. All kinds of different designs can be created. And you can quickly work through different ones to create different designs. I'm going to go for this one. Horizontal set to 3. Vertical set to 20. And the rotation set to 17. Now the distance and the angle you don't have to worry about. That's just recalculated when you change these. Also makes the duplicates on. And I'm going with 54. Now sadly there's no scale feature. That will be brilliant. And then just click OK. And you can see now you've got all these layers. So select the top one. And then go all the way down and select that one. So you've got now all of them selected. When all selected, you can then go to right click and group. So they're all grouped into a single group. As a single group, you can then go to layer and you can go down here to rasterize. So they're all rasterized into a single layer. And then you can do exact the same as you were doing before. Exact same. So again, you can move this, this crosshair, gain, this setting needs to be on and you can move it. You don't have to move it. You can position it elsewhere. You can do it anywhere. But now I'm putting it there. Maybe there. Again, make certain the actual layer is selected. Make certain the move tool is selected and press return. And now you can see this panel again. And you can go and put, say, 10. And that will rotate it. But again, you can set duplicate and you can go just increase it and you can see as you do that this will create a design all the way around and again you can do exact same so minus 20 you can just vary the settings here minus 20 for this or 20 and so on so you can build up all kinds of unique designs and you could enter the value here rotation 20 or maybe go for three and what you can do up and down go onto the keyboard up and down keys and that will increase that. Now you can also, if you want, don't have to enter six, you can enter 5.5, so something like that. So if you've got a value you just want, you think, oh, why isn't five and six? Well, you can enter 5.6. Now obviously number of copies, you can't enter a real number there. But you can also do it here as well, minus 20.6 and so on. Once you're happy with that, you can click OK and there's your design. Well, this design can then be, of course, exact same as before. You select all of them and all then can be turned into a group. So right click, group, and then you can go to layer and down here to rasterize. And they're rasterized into one single layer. 
So you can see, I've resized that so you can see it. And of course, you can just do usual duplication, holding down the Alter Option key to duplicate it. And you can create multiple copies of that design or maybe add effects to it as well. Distort it, maybe go to Filter, Distort and Deform, just to distort the design in countless ways. And you can see as you do that. Now, another option that's really good, and I'm just gonna quickly show. Now, it does seem to have a few issues. I'm not saying it's perfect. So if you go back, let's just go back all the way, because you can also use duplicate linked. So with this design, go up here, layer, and duplicate linked. So duplicate linked, and you can see here now they're linked, means any effect you apply, like deform, will be deformed in all of them. But before you do that, really good thing to do, because I've noticed there's a bit of a slightly quirky behavior. Just go to layer and down to rasterize. So you've just rasterized it. Doesn't seem to make any difference, you would think, but it seems to mean that when you apply the duplicate link, it doesn't create some weird color designs. So now, layer and duplicate linked. And with that, you can apply your transform. Let's again move that, and I'm just gonna position it, say there. Again, make certain the layer selected. Move tool selected over here. Press turn, and then you can go here and enter, say, five. And again, duplicate, and make it, say, 30. And you can see you can create a design like that. And also you can vary, of course, the horizontal, make it 20 and so on. And click OK. Now they're all linked, so all of them, if I select that one, and I'm just gonna go up there, select that, all selected, and I can then resize this. Because what I want, I want it to be inside the document. Because sometimes what happens, it crops, weirdly. So I just do that. Now you can just select any of the layers, any of them, and then go to filters, and distort and deform. And then add some pins. And you can then distort the design. And as you do that, you'll notice what happens. The whole thing distorts. Now, if you hadn't done the rasterize, you'll notice that you get weird colors. It does generally seem to work, but it seems to distort in odd ways and doesn't seem to distort all the layers at the same time. But you see, you can create some truly oddball designs by going to these pins and dragging them out like that and then click and apply. And that's process. Now it also does take a few seconds to process all the layers. There's a lot of layers to work with. If you've got any questions about this feature, please let me know in the comments. It's just a new feature with 2.2. So if you've got 2.1, sorry, it's not available in 2.1. Also, it's not available, of course, in version one. So if you want it, you'll have to upgrade to version two. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Please subscribe to the channel. Bye.